Whoa, okay, that scared the shit out of me. I thought someone was in the room with me. Oh, okay, that looks really cool. I didn't expect that. Hey guys, this is Master DK, and welcome to Inscription. I have been waiting quite a while to uh, play this game. And um, that's because uh, this game combines two things that I really love. Horror and tabletop games. Yeah, a lot of people don't know this about me. I enjoy tabletop games. I enjoy board games. Here's the only problem with that, though. A lot of people don't want to play them with me. I'm always like, what the hell, guys? It's actually a lot of fun. You just need to, you know, learn the rules, just like any other game. And you you get to have fun. And I'm hoping throughout this uh, gameplay that um, I'm able to display that. So uh, without further ado, I'm just going to go right in. I'm just Press any button. Oh man, this is an interesting uh, design choice to start us off. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not allowed to select a new game? Okay, continue then. You drag the card over here. What do you mean continue though? I didn't even start a game yet. Oh, I'm getting some Pizzeria Simulator vibes from this table. Oh, oh, I see that. Oh, that is so creepy. <laughs> Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. I don't recall playing this game at all. Okay, let's go. <laughs> We're jumping right into it. Play the squirrel card. What if I don't? What if I decide to go against the rules? Probably failure. Probably death. So let's just play the squirrel card and, you know, cooperate. Alright. Playing the squirrel card. Now play your stoat. Alright. My stoat. I'm not sure what a stoat is. But I'll play it. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Oh shit. So I have to sacrifice my squirrel? Oh no. Alright. Killing my squirrel. <laughs> An honorable death. I highly doubt that. Squirrels are innocent little creatures. Fuck you. Play the stoat. Okay, I'll play the stoat. Okay, so in order to play the stoat, I have to sacrifice another animal. Makes sense? Oh! In, to, in order to play a wolf, I have to sacrifice two animals. That's interesting. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. All right. Oh boy. I'm already I'm already loving this. They're giving me like the rules to a tabletop game, and I I have a feeling I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. Your stoat stands unopposed. Well, whose fault is that? <laughs> the number on the bottom left is its attack power. One. All right, so yeah, that's a pretty low attack power. <laughs> All right, so my stoat's not gonna stand much of a chance uh, against re really anything. Your stoat dealt me one damage. Ha 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 ha! I added it to the scale. Ah, <laughs> oh, sucks for you. Maybe if you actually had cards, you would be able to avoid this situation. I get it. It's like a tutorial. He's not really like battling me. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Simple enough to grasp, I love it. Like this. My turn. Oh boy. Yeah, now it's your turn. Oh, 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 you're gonna kick my stoat's ass. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. Oh no. Welp. <laughs> my coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. Oh, that's my health meter on, uh, on the right there. Okay. That means your stoat's health is too less. Yeah, I know, Pokemon. If a creature's health reduces to zero, it dies. Really? Is that what happens? Alright, it's my turn again. Alright, I need to play... Oh! Oh, I may draw from the deck. Or you may draw a squirrel. Wait, what? Why would I draw a squirrel? Oh! So I have two animals so I can play my wolf card. I'm gonna play the squirrel. 
How dull. Not really. I'm going to put a squirrel card right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick your ass by sacrificing these two in exchange. F huh? Hey. <laughs> Fear not. The beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. Okay. That's that's helpful to know. Its suffering was real, but you will see it again. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just a card, man. You don't need to make it so complex. Alright, and I'm sacrificing him too. So now I'm going to play the wolf on your ass. Which means my wolf's going to deal you some damage. My turn has ended. Ha ha ha! Because you are learning, I will pass. Yeah, damn right you will. Again, the choice. A random card from your deck or the certainty of... Or the certainty of a squirrel. Yeah, so I guess, like, the squirrel is your best bet if you want to make enough blood sacrifices. I'm going to choose a random card this time. A river snapper also requires two blood sacrifices. Man, I'm really enjoying this so far. Um, okay. Um, okay. Um, I, know, I don't know if a river snapper is more than the wolf. Oh, okay. You press S to look at your hand. Oh, okay. I, I don't want to put the river snapper there. Definitely not. All right, I'll put the wolf there. Wait, no, I, I'm lacking. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't play any other cards because I need two blood sacrifices. Okay, well, I can't do anything, so I'm going to pass. Three damage dealt, three weights on the scale. Oh, yeah, cause you, because you don't have any animals, I dealt damage to you. Nice. All right, you pass too. Wow. All right, um, do I get to draw from the deck? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to play the squirrel. All right, go back. I don't I didn't know what else I didn't know what else to do. So I'm back to square 1 here. Haha, <laughs> I won. Yeah, take that. They won't all be so easy. Oh, I, I, I'm I'm betting not. Yeah, so this is a pretty simple game. Let me recall your story. Oh, we got lore in this game? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, no. Oh, that's cool. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. A path with creepy music. Okay. Oh, okay. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. Tentatively. The caustic adder. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. Ah, okay. It's got poison. So there is some, like, RPG elements in this, too. The undying cat sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Oh, yeah, because of its nine lives, I bet. Only one may grace your poultry deck. Poultry? Many lives. Um, when a card bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. Yeah, because the cat has many lives. Oh, I had to choose one. Okay, well, this, the snake isn't a bad choice. Okay. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. Um, is that a good thing? You came across an abandoned sack. <laughs> you found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of an emergency. Oh, okay. And have a second. Well, don't I get the squirrel at the beginning of every turn, though? Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Um. Oh, okay. So these are like, uh, use only once type of deals. Little cheat items. Three is as much as you can carry. All right, fair enough. Let's go to uh, death. That sounds like the uh, logical option. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. All right, so we got stumps and boulders in this match. You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. 
it was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll help me? Play along for now. Play along for now? What, what do you mean? You may now see my moves ahead of time. I'm sorry? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. The rules are starting to slip away from me a bit. Play along for now. What does that mean? I don't... Okay, what do I want to play here? Okay. So, um, I got a boulder on my end. I don't know what the significance of the boulder is. But what do I want to play here? Need I remind you? Uh, I get it. Okay, the stoat only requires one blood sacrifice, so I'm going to play the squirrel. Wait a minute. Oh, he's going to play his wolf cub. All right. And I'm going to play my stoat. And sacrifice my squirrel for the stoat. Here we go! It's kind of weird that the cards are talking to me, but not as weird as things could be. Okay, what do I do now? So I do, I, do I just get to keep going? Okay, I'm gonna play both my squirrels. It's kind of risky, but I don't see... I don't see where that could go wrong yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and play two squirrels. And then I'm gonna play the snake. Get on there, snake. Now I'm gonna end my turn. Oh, snip, snippity snap. A serpent perhaps more deadly than man. <laughs> yeah, probably. I, I didn't even understand what the hell just happened, but something did. Mind the ambitious wolf cub, it ages swiftly. It ages? What is, what is that significance? And why is he attacking the boulder? I don't get that. Okay, um, okay, I want to look at this. Oh, this has six health. That's the significance of that. Okay, um, I'll take a random... Actually, I need a squirrel. I need a squirrel. Alright, the snake is one hit away from death. Wait, a card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. I'm not sure if I'm ready to sacrifice just yet. I'm gonna play a squirrel, and I'm going to sacrifice... I'm not gonna sacrifice the stoat. And definitely not the snake, because the snake... Wait, this this changed. Hang on. A card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's going to grow into an adult wolf. That won't be good for me. I'm not sure if I'm ready to play anything else. I feel like I should get rid of this boulder somehow. <laughs> you can't draw blood from a boulder. I wasn't trying to. I'm just going to end my turn. I don't know what else to do. I don't have enough... I don't know, I don't have enough sacrifices for the river snapper. Yeah, I know that. But I'm not going to. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. I'm sorry. Okay. Ha, my, blat, my bat flew right over your adder. What do I do with the boulder? I just gotta wait until the boulder's gone. To play anything else. Man, this sucks. Maybe if I draw a random card, I'll get... Something that will um, allow me only one blood sacrifice. Shit. Okay. That's that's not that's unfortunate. I'm not want. I don't want to sacrifice nothing. I mean, everything's looking pretty good over here. Um, Stoat is really hanging on, and as for the snake, snake's holding on too. Surprisingly, I'm just gonna end my turn. I'm I'm going to uh, let the boulder uh, take his take its last hit, and then I'm gonna throw in another card. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm gonna get another squirrel, put it right here. Then I'm gonna play my wolf and sacrifice the two squirrelies, and boom. That's what we're talking about right there. All right, and I am happy with that turn. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay, still not ready yet. I probably should have drawn a squirrel card. Damn it. You know what? I'm 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 fine with that. Yeah, let's deal some damage to your ass. 
You prevailed. Awesome. And trekked onwards past the now bloody terrain. All right, let's go. Let's get another card, a special card. This time I'm gonna actually treat. I'm I'm actually gonna choose. Okay, I get a wolf cub that grows into a wolf after a single turn. Very useful. And we got a sparrow, the meek sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Only requires one blood sacrifice. I'm going to choose that because there was a special sigil on that that I'm curious about. Oh, I stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. Oh no, the stones are going to beat my ass. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Why? Why that? Why that? You know what, I'll sacrifice the sparrow because... I mean, do I? Do I really? Okay, fine. Bye, Sparrow. Wait a minute. I guess I don't need the snake. The snake seems to be the weaker one. Wait a minute. Pick me? Why would I pick you? You're- you're awesome. You're awesome, little stoat. What am I actually doing here? Okay, bye, Adder. I guess. Wait, a ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the adder now lives in the sparrow. Oh! So that's the advantage of that. So that wasn't all for nothing. <laughs> Good to know. Oh, I don't like this. I'm not liking what I'm seeing right here. What the hell is that? Oh no. Shit's gonna hit the fan. Behold my totem! It describes my canine canine cards with the airborne sigil. Canines with the airborne sigil, huh? <laughs> He's completely insane. You see that, right? <laughs> no care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough! Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Alright, Stoat, calm your tits. We can we can win. We can take these guys. We're good. Alright? We are good. I need to... What the hell does the sigil mean? I want to read about the sigil. I don't care about that. I'm going to play a squirrel. Because a doy. Alright. I need to get some sacrifices on the board here. Um, I didn't even click that, but okay. I'm going to sacrifice the squirrel for the sparrow. Alright. Um... Okay, well, there's nothing else I can play, so I'm gonna have to end my toying. Heal you some damage. Holy shit. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. <laughs> Screw you, man. At least I got a sparrow. Well, you didn't do much. Now did ya. Alright, I'm gonna start making some sacrifices here. Yeah, I'm gonna put the squirrel here so I can get the stoat in here. And there we go. Boom. Back on the board. Yep. Now kick some ass for me. Yeah. So it only attacks right in front of it. Alright. So ne neither of us are taking damage. Can you move the cards during your turn? I've lost. Oh, because it dealt me damage. Damn it. Okay. Let's try again then. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Get up. I know. Get up from the table. Yes, I will. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Oh, you're really rubbing in my defeat. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm fetching the candlestick. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hi. I, I hope you don't mind me um, invading your personal space. Well, I'm enjoying this game so far. It's really fun. I'm definitely going to be playing a bit more of this before I end the video. Okay, that has a combination that I don't know. This one. Okay. I'm going to bring it to you. Oh, shit. No, let's not do the hand thing. 
Now sit back down. Don't tell me what to fucking do. Alright, we're back to the table. Let me explain something to you. How about no? That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. Bl what? Blowing out the candle like an idiot? If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Wait a minute. Now where were we? Oh shit, okay. Oh, I don't even get another chance to do that. Nice. Alright, let's take a look at... Alright, elk. The flighty elk. It moves after attacking. Oh, that's very handy. What else do we got? The cat, again. And we got the bullfrog. <laughs> the watchful bullfrog. <laughs> it leaps in the way of attacking flyers. Nice. Um, I'm going with the elk. The elk sounds awesome. Alright, uh, do we want fire or symbols? Fire or symbols? Let's go with fire. Fire sounds more interesting. You came across a small group of survivors. Survivors of what? Faces shrunken from starvation. They huddled around a campfire. Holy shit. They look upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire that will enchant what well, that will enhance its power, said another. I don't trust you. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Yeah, because they're hungry, and they're hungry for me. Okay, let's go by the fire. I have to burn one of my fucking cards. Okay, uh, River Snapper. You, you go. The fire warmed the poor River Snapper, enhancing his power. Oh! I need to be paying attention. <laughs> Okay, so I enhanced the power of the River Snapper. That's good, because the River Snapper is probably one of my weakest cards. One of the survivors reached towards it. Hey, 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 you get your hands off of it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the River Snapper away from the fire and left. Yeah, I bet. Because I'm a smarty. Okay, wow, that was quite the trip. I'm glad I chose that direction. Alright, now let's go to another skull. I'm assuming that's another battle. Yeah. And we got a grand fur. <laughs> There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. Oh, God. Okay, you need to take this outside, you guys. Like, because I don't want to deal with this shit. Why the dot, dot, dot? Why does the stoat have, like, more sentience than any other card? Okay, I'm gonna play my squirrel so I can get the stoat in here. Um, first of all, yeah. Also, I can use my scroller on my mouse, um, instead of the keys. That's really cool. That's gonna save me a lot of time. Alright. Uh, the grizzly. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Maybe I don't want that right away. No, but you can play the squirrel. I'm not trying to play him. Yeah, I'm gonna be screwed if I do anything. You know what? I'm gonna play the squirrel just to defend myself. I don't know what to do here. That grizzly is gonna slaughter me if I don't do anything. Dude, it's gonna deal four damage. My stoat has three. The elk has four damage. The wolf has two. It's like the only thing I can do is put the squirrel there. Because if I put the stoat there, it's going to die. It's going to fucking die. Wait a minute. No, it has to move first before it can attack, right? So ideally, I want to... Alright, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> this spot? You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. The grizzly's just going to move forward, right? That's how this works. Okay, I dealt damage to him. Oh, shit. Okay, um... There's nothing else I can do. I have to put a squirrel. I don't know what else to do. Uh... 
Ugh. This isn't look this isn't looking good for me. I literally can't play anything. I have to take damage. Oh, fuck me. I probably shouldn't have done nothing during that turn. <sighs> I'm kind of screwed here. I, I can't do anything else. It's just taking out all my squirrels. Yeah, I I, I, I lost. I'm, 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 yep. Well, now I'm sacrificed. Great. It is time for you to perish. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa, what's going on here? You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Then what is it? Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. Excuse me. We can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. I don't want to do that. Fine, I'll choose the River Snapper. A cost of two blood from the River Snapper. And another. This time I will use its power and health. The numbers. Okay, I guess the Sparrow. One power and two health from the Sparrow. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. Oh! Okay, this is coming into play. Okay, this is playing to my advantage. I'm good. Definitely the sigil from this. The sigil of the Sprinter. I never did ask your name. My name is... Fuck... You. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Am I gonna get, put my pro- Oh, shit. No, I'm not ready. If you turn on my webcam, I'm turning this game off. Here we go again. I didn't like that one bit. Oh, God. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, bones. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. Oh, so now we got bone sacrifices. <laughs> you gain a bone. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so immature. <laughs> you gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Oh, so your animals have to die in order for that to happen. That doesn't make things complicated. Question is, do I want to break this? Yes, I do. All right. I'm playing a squirrel, baby. Oh, you son of a bitch. You're gonna send a rattler after me. All right. Well, I'm gonna put a stoat in here after I sacrifice this bad boy. Oh, and the sacrifices give you bones. Nice. Okay. Yeah, for whatever reason. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent, or the battle ends. Oh, okay. Or in the <laughs> or if the battle ends. All right. Well, I don't have enough bones for the possum yet, so I can't really do much. Actually, yeah, yeah, I can. I totally can. Damn it! I can't really sacrifice yet. I'm gonna end my turn. Yeah, baby. Oh, ha, ha. Well, at least I got bones. I'm going to get another squirrel so I can make another sacrifice later on. But I am going to use my possum. Oh, God. Do I want to, though? Because, you know what? I do. I'm going to sacrifice my possum. For the sake of... For the sake of victory. Oh! Oh, snappity snap! That actually worked out. I didn't even look at the health. All right. Hmm. I'm gonna... Oh, okay. Now I got a bullfrog. That'll come in handy later.
but for now I want to sacrifice two squirrely squirrels so I can play my motherfucking wolf actually I'm gonna sacrifice my possum so I can put the wolf there that seems like a more logical direction to take you're in oh yeah and I'm going to sacrifice this squirrel as well so I can put the bullfrog there there we go making the most out of my turn and now I have no cards so pff, let's end the turn Oh, snippity-snapping chicken fat. What the hell did I just say? Oh. <laughs> oh, are you stunned by my awesomeness? I forgot your figurine. My figurine? Get up and fetch it for me. How about you do it your goddamn self? How about that? All right, fine. I got to do everything around here. Oh, okay. Oh, I, do I get to choose one? I want the one that looks like the Prospector. <laughs> Actually, this one's way cooler. Alright. I got it. It's mine now. Let us continue. Yes, let us. Let us continue. <laughs> Alright, I get another card, baby. Let's go. The Meager Coyote. But what did you expect from only for only four bones? Oh, I need four bones for the Coyote. Lovely. Um, let's see what else I got. A nefarious rattler. Six bones. Huh. I'm not liking the amount of bones I need to rack up. And the cockroach, which costs four bones. And, oh, an unkillable cockroach. It returns to your hand after dying. Ha ha ha. Hmm. I need to think about this. Uh, cockroach. That sounds awesome. I will definitely use that to my advantage. You know, you're free to get up again. Am I now? To keep your blood flowing. Are you talking to me, the player? Are you breaking the fourth wall? Let's let's do this, whatever this is. It's bleeding yields three blood, if you can ignore the bleeding. Ah, uh, I get it, you're so funny. It yields three blood. Oh, so if you make a blood sacrifice and get the black goat, then you don't need to make three blood sacrifices. It's just like automatic. Very nice. Some bone tokens for a rainy night. Oh, snap. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air. Oh, choose one. Oh, no, I gotta choose one. I'm gonna choose the black goat because that sounds like it's gonna come in. Actually, will it come in handy? Yeah, it will. I'm more into the blood sacrifice thing myself. I'm more of a blood guy, if you know what I mean. Oh, wait. Oh! Okay, so I got two black goats. I could have done something else! Damn it! Feeling overburdened enough with a full three items you carried on. Well, that's just a bitch. Okay. Alright, let's go to the death square, or the death circle. Alright, let's do this shit. Let's put a squirrel in there. And let's get the bullfrog to kill the squirrel so it can do its own thing all right we got a bone token over here i'm gonna go ahead and take one of my black goats oh and these four bones that's right damn it a car bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing an airborne sigil i really didn't need to do that yeah because these are coyotes i didn't need to put the bullfrog there at all i'm starting to think that i need to Put in the black goat instead. Actually, the black goat does nothing. It, it, it can't hit. Okay, well, I made a terrible error. Ow. Ow. Alright, I'm gonna get a squirrely squirrel. I guess. So that I can... Put a squirrel here. Which won't do me much in this round, but such is life. I died, didn't I? Damn it! Should have thought that more thoroughly. Alright, what other cards? Okay, there's the sparrow. There's the raven, a blight upon the skies. That looks more powerful than the sparrow, which is great. And the fuck you. <laughs> 
That requires two blood sacrifices, does one deal of damage, has two health, and can move across the board. Hmm. That's great and all, but I think I'm going to go with the raven, because the raven looks really powerful. Hmm. Yeah, definitely the fire. Um, actually, both of these would be nice. Yeah, I'll go with this, because this gives you items. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Oh, will it now? Okay, so... What are my three items gonna be? I think I'll go with the boulder, yeah. That'll be a nice defense. Alright. Do your legs cramp? Does your back ache? This game can be lengthy. Stand, if you wish. You're- you're telling me to stand. That's- that's what's going on here. You're telling me to stand. It's- it's literally telling the player to stop playing the game. I don't appreciate that, sir. Okay, shit's about to go down. Let's do this. Are you smart or something? We usually... He usually doesn't bother teaching about bones. Alright, here's a tip. I saw a past victim. Okay, writing a passcode in the rule book. Oh, snap. Is that the combination to the safe? Okay, we got two sparrows coming in. Each with an attack power of one. But what is this? What is that? I need to read about that. This one. Sharp Quills. Once a card bearing this sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. Oh! Well, that's very handy. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a squirrely squirrel here. And I'm gonna put... Oh, and I'm gonna put a bullfrog there. And I'm gonna put a boulder right here. Bingo. And let's go. Haha. <laughs> ha Oh, damn. Alright, I'm getting another squirrel so I can put a stoat right here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you live with that. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Going in for a full attack. Wait, how many bones do I... Oh. Hmm. If I put a squirrel right there, I'll get another bone token, and then I can put the cockroach in. Alright, using my big brain. Let's go. Yeah, you keep striking me. So you can get struck. I think I'm ready to start putting in cards. A raven, you say? I need one more bone token still. I have to wait until the squirrel dies. So I'm going to end my turn. Oh. Why isn't why isn't the squirrel dying? I I don't understand. Okay, I'm just going to get another sacrifice then so I can get the raven in here. Boom. Let's go. You're toast. You are butter toast. Yeah, that's not going to do shit. All right. Um I'll get a squirrel for now. Oh, I got enough both bone tokens for the cockroach. Oh, I concede. Wait, you may accept my surrender. Oh, okay. You want me to surrender. No, thank you. I'm going to put a cockroach in here. And it's going to deal one damage to your ass. And you're just going to be out of luck. Sorry to have to break the bad news to you, but you are fucked. Alright, it's, it's in my favor now. You know what? I'm fine with everything that's going on right now. I'm going to keep collecting squirrels until, like, one of you dies. My strats are coming into play now. Man, my raven's really hanging on there. Man, it just feels so good to win. You know what I, you know what I mean? I'm going to get another card so I can... Yeah. I'm going to have a possum ready in case you try anything stupid. My, how the turntables... 
Bye bye <laughs> All right, and I think with that I think I'm gonna end this gameplay here So far so great. I'm really enjoying this. This is definitely giving me a uh, tabletop nostalgia You could also consider it very RPG in nature uh, I'm, I'm just really enjoying this all together. It's really fun, and I'm looking forward to what comes next. I like games that um, integrate, you know, this creative games gameplay while also throwing new stuff at you at every turn. It's, it's games like this that keep you coming back, you know? And uh, I will be coming back very soon, hopefully. So thank you guys for watching. If you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. Um, if you want to uh, follow me on any social media, I'm on Twitter and I'm on Facebook, so you can follow me on those two things. I also have a Patreon. I'm going to be putting exclusive stuff on there very soon. I already have some exclusive stuff. You, if you want to donate there, you, you'll be financially supporting the channel, and uh, I'll just really appreciate it. I also have a group channel called The DK Crew that me and my friends run, and we uh, do uh, game gaming videos and movie commentaries. Stay your awesome selves always.